Hello dear friends, my name is Jitender Bafna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In this video, we will going to see how to enable HTTP wire logging for the cloud of application. So we will going to see how you can enable uh, HTTP wire logging for your MuleSoft application deployed into the cloud of. So basically like sometime you may have to debug the incoming request right so you need to check what are the different headers are coming in input request and what is the response we have sent right or back to the client so if you want to trace that complete request so you can enable the HTTP wire logging so let me show you I have an application called this uh, the simple application okay so let me do one thing so I have this simple application so I will try to browse this application. Let's see what it logs. Okay. So let me see. I will copy this. Then I will say HTTP localhost. Not localhost. Sorry. Told me. So this is my request. Before that, I will just uh, go to log. So let me ch let me enter the. Let me do two three enter. Okay, so let me check. If you see, like uh, we are just getting like a payload logger, so like payload got logged because we have defined like to log the payload in our uh, uh, flow basically. But it apart from that, it doesn't uh, log any parameters like uh, what are the different. Uh, headers we are getting in input request and what are the response we are sending back to client so those kind of information is missing in the log how like if you want to debug uh, any http request so how can you enable those kind of logging so for that one we need to do one setting so let me send one more request so if you see it's 1858 now it's 1859 let me check so what comes up let me refresh it So you can see after 1858, so this is my 1858, after that I've sent the request at 1859. So it has just logged this much of the information, not more than that. And because why it logged this information? Because we have defined the logger component uh, into our MuleSoft application flow. Now what we have to do, uh, we have to enable the wire logging. In that case, we can go to application, we can go to application settings then we can go to logging tab so where we will add some package so this is the package which we will going to add which will enable the while logging for the http request and response org.mule.service.http impl.service.http message logger you copy this and i will use the debug mode so there are different log levels you can use but I will use the debug level because it will do more logging and I will just add this package org.mule.service.http.impl.service.http message logger so once you add this and you just say apply changes so it, it will take seconds to get applied yeah it got applied also so now I will go back to log so you are okay so the last request we have sent at 1859 let me send more requests now let's wait yeah so now after 1859 we have sent the request at 701901 so you can see like it lo it has logged more information like uh, what is your method what is the url what is the x real ip apart from the you, you can also see x forwarded for x forwarded foot you know so all those kind of so from which ip address request is coming those kind of thing then it also like uh, log the payload you know then this is the response so basically what response we have sent back to the client you know so like uh, it's http okay like you know what is the content length so it log everything like what what has been received what has been sent so those information get logged previously it was logging this only this much of information not this one and not this particular one right with this particular package with this particular package it start adding the more and more information and apart from apart from that you can see it use the tag or log level as a debug you can see that because we have defined that as a debug right so you can see debug right 
okay so i hope you like the video like if you like the video click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching